What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, it's gonna be a quick one. We're gonna be going into the Trick House for its final play. So after you defeated the Elite Four, you will be unable to get one more, well, let's see, one more battle or one more Trick House event. Now, as I'm starting to remember it, I kind of feel as though that we do have two more because, like what, you have to defeat, you have to beat uh, the Sutopolis, and then you have to beat the Elite Four, and I could be wrong. So, let's go into the Trick House, we're being watched, and of course, he's going to be somewhere around here, so I'm going to be searching everything. Just about everything. Let's see. Not there. Not there. Maybe right there. He's probably right there. Or, 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 he's right there. No, he's probably in the window. There we go. Window. Where the heck is this guy? Right here? Let's see. You know what really bugs me about this? Right there. What really bugs me about this is that he doesn't leave a little blinker and all that stuff, a little shine just to see him. And well, here we are into the trick house. And let's see what we got. Let's see. This might be the last one. Could be, could we not? No, yeah, it's probably the last one right here. So as you guys can see, we are in... We're, yeah, we're in a polished floor uh, room, so we're going to be battling a buttload of trainers right here. And the majority of these trainers are going to be having Pokemon around the level 40, so just stay stocked up and everything. And as you guys can see, we're going to be taking on cool, tra cool trainer Kiera. And she will be coming out with her level 45 Lair Lairn. So we're going to be speeding this up. And, yeah, she could have just, like, you know, she could have probably... She could have probably just, like, you know, evolved that Pokemon. I don't know. I'm not the makers of the games or anything like that. We will see be see better uh, things in the in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And as you guys can see right here, we found a scroll right away. And, well, let's see. Now we got to get to... We have to get to, what was it called, uh, yeah, we have to get to, what's it, we we'll call it, uh, we have to get to the other room right here. This is usually the part where I'm like, okay, I'm a little, I'm a little wary about it. Okay, not many trainers have made it this far. Hmm, let's see, let's see how many trainers can beat you. So here we are taking on cool trainer Vincent, and he is going to be coming out with his Sableye right here. Alrighty, Sableye, how's it going? And let's go straight for... It can't be affected by Earthquake, I think. So there we go. And just like that, we win. And he's going to be coming out with a Sharpedo. So let's go right ahead and hit Raiden with it. And go with a Thunderbolt attack. And just like that, Hadouken grows to level 60. And here comes Medicham. So let's go right ahead and go straight into Hadouken himself. Because, well, yeah. Fly attack for the win. And just like that, we win. And, well, if you talk to this guy, he's like, you've beaten the Pokemon League champion? That's too much. It really isn't too much. He's a little, he was rather easy. Now, this is easy access towards the towards the end, but what, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this item right here, guys. And we're going to go back down. And right here, if you go down here, you're going to be... Easily going up to this individual, and <laughs> this trick house is pretty easy. Holy crud. Or either that, I'm just a little too experienced. I don't know. So here we go, taking on Leroy, and he's going to be coming out with his Mawile. As many of you guys already know, Mawile is a steel type Pokemon, and well, just like that, we win this. Coming out with a Starmie. Holy crud, okay. And Starmie, probably one of my favorite Pokemon. So misunderstood. On top of it all, I kind of messed it up on Pokemon Leaf Green, but you guys know what it is. And there we go. Cool Trainer Leroy has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that right there, <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, Trickmaster I love. And, well, I think this is the final one, because he's going to be like, ah, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night polishing those floors. You're above me in greatness, possibly. What what should I do? My fountain of ideas and tricks and has run dry. Perhaps it's time I toured the country on quest to devise new tricks. I, d I hate to admit defeat, but you have bested me. Still, you have been uh, you have been railed in by my charisma for uh, for you to visit me again and again. Yes, you might have, 
but that has nothing to do with him, my losing. In recognition of our friendship between you, the driven, and the genius that is myself, I demand that you take this keepsake. Actually, there are two. It's a red tent or a blue tent. Which one would you prefer? And, well, since I've already picked uh, Latios as the blue uh, Pokemon that, you know, has been seen, let's go with the red tent right here. There it is, guys. And, well, he's gonna be like, I'm leaving on a journey of discovery, a quest in search of new tricks. I wish that you will uh, one day visit and entertain me again. And now, farewell. So that is it, guys. We have completed the trick house. And, uh, huh. Kind of feels a little, uh, <laughs> it kind of feels a little anticlimactic because it's like, I was kind of hoping on struggling a little bit. I'm probably, I was probably thinking that, well, shoot, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, I was gonna struggle or having a, an extra trick house that I didn't know of. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go straight to the Safari Zone because there is a few things that we need to show you. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in front of the Safari Zone. Now, this is a little bit different. If you guys may have remembered, when we made our first visit to the Safari Zone, there were individuals blocking some entranceway. Now that we defeated the Elite Four, the, some of these entranceways has opened and, well, you're going to be seeing some pretty interesting Pokemon that you probably would want to get. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for some of these Pokemon. Of course, this is all step-based, so we're going to have to make our way and stuff. Now, this is an area right here where the entranceway was blocked away. So now we have the entrance to quite a few Pokemon that, you know, we won't be able to see in the Hoenn region. As you guys can see, here we're, we're messing with this Sunkern. So we're going to be throwing some balls, and as, as you guys can see, yes, we cut ourselves a Sunkern. Probably one of the weakest grass-types Pokemon out there. And, well, let's see. Anything else? Yes, you do need a Pokemon with Waterfall, but it's not that big right there, guys. Um, let's see. I'm going to speed it through because there are some items that you can actually find. And, well, look at this. We are finding ourselves a spin rack. And let's go straight forward to the Safari Ball right here. And, yes, we cut ourselves another Pokemon. Not going to read the whole description and all that stuff. But here we found ourselves a Big Pearl. And what we're going to do right now is probably locate some other Pokemon, some other interesting Pokemon for you to see. As you guys can see right here, found ourselves a Hoot Hoot. And just like that, we caught ourselves another Hoot Hoot. Look at that. So... Let's go right ahead and speed it through. Look at that. Snubble is another Pokemon option. And Snubble's another Pokemon we caught. Look at that. The Fairy Pokemon. And well, I think we've already caught everything we need. Oh, look at this. An Apom. As many of you guys already know, Apom does evolve into a Ambipom in the next generation. So it probably would have been a good idea. And look at this. Stantler. Yeah, Stantler's a, a rare Pokemon. And well, look, we caught it. The Bighorn Pokemon. Stantler's magnificent, an magnificent antlers were once traded as high prices as works of art. As a result, this Pokemon is hunted close to extinction. Okay, so yeah, that's probably the reason why, you know, you don't want to mess with this Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead. And look at this. We have found ourselves Marie at level 34. So just two level ups is going to be fully evolved right there. All right, stay in the Pokeball, Marie. And just like that, guys, we got ourselves Mareep. As many of you guys already know, we got Mareep in the last few uh, walkthroughs and stuff. And Mareep, the wool Pokemon, its fluffy wool rubs together and builds a static charge. There's more energy in charge the more brightly the light bulb at the tip of its tail grows. Okay, that's pretty cool. And yes, we're going to be naming this Pokemon its usual name. I bequeath you the name Fluffolt because, well, Fluffolt... Let's see, there we go. Might be used for something different a little bit later on. So let's see, there we go. Flup, Volt, there you go. And that's how you do it. Alrighty. Now let's see if we can get another Pokemon right here. I know that you can get yourself a Wooper. Probably showed it in the episode. And well, there is Mareep. Okay, so let's go into another section. And see what we can actually find. And look at this, we found ourselves a Wooper right on the water. Wooper a pretty good Pokemon itself when it comes to, you know, type advantages and all that stuff. So there you go, Wooper has been caught. And let's see what we get here. The Waterfish Pokemon, Wooper usually live in water, but come uh, come out onto land seeking food occasionally. On land, they coat their bodies with a gooey toxic film. Hmm. 
you know, play. Okay, so let's go ahead and bequeath this Pokemon's nickname. I bequeath to you the name Lucky. That's right, Lucky. That's right, we got Lucky right here. Okay, alrighty, so let's see. Let's see if we have a chance for other Pokemon, and this is another section where you can actually find some different Pokemon right here. Hopefully it's like a Pokemon we didn't get, so here we go. Oh, look at this! Oh my god, a Teddy or Ursa. We haven't seen Teddy Ursa in like forever, guys. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Damn it, it fled. Okay, our mission now is to capture a Teddy Ursa. As many of you guys already know, in the first Pokemon Crystal Walk that I had here on my channel, we got ourselves a Teddy Ursa. And many of you guys were like, kind of complaining. It was like, hey, how come you won't capture a Teddy Ursa and stuff? Well, I kind of wanted a different team. For a little different feel and all that stuff. And, well, look at this, Miltank, okay. Oh, I was about to capture that Pokemon, come on. Oh, come on. Got ten Pokeballs. Yeah, this Pokemon's gonna make me waste all my Pokeballs and... Okay, so this is the rare section, okay. We're literally using all our Pokeballs right here. And we caught ourselves an Amp... or an Apom right here. Okay. So, let's see. The mission is to capture Teddy Ursa because, well, I want Teddy Ursa and stuff. And uh, there are probably some other rare, some uh, other other rare uh, Johto Pokemon you can actually find. But like I said before, guys, we will be capturing. And here we go. And that's it. The Safari game's over. So I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna be trying to get some more Pokemon. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, back, guys, trying to capture some uh, Teddy Ursas and all that stuff. So let's see. Yeah, like I was saying, yeah. As I said before, we're going to be using some different Pokemon from other versions just to battle a certain individual. And as you guys can see, Teddy Ursa, the little bear Pokemon, it licks its palms that were sweetened by being soaked in honey. A Teddy Ursa makes its own honey by blending fruits and pollen collected by Beedrill. Teddy Ursa, I would like to nickname you Teddy because, well, you are a big teddy bear. And we've missed you, so... Oh, wow, I was about to mess that up. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. So there it is, guys. Teddy is here, and uh, well, let's see. What else is there to be talking about when it comes to these kinds of Pokemon games? Yeah, we're we're very very close to finishing up this walker right here. I mean, there's not a lot to feature except for just the extra spots in the, the Safari Zone. What else? Um, oh, look at that! We caught ourselves a meal tank. Okay. Alrighty. That's right. I knew I knew I knew that was gonna happen. So, look at this, Miltank, the milk cow Pokemon. It gives a, over five gallons of milk daily. Its sweet milk is enjoyed by children and grown-ups alike. People who can't drink milk turn into yogurt and eat it instead. Well, that's probably gonna be me, except, uh, yeah, I don't eat yogurt or drink milk because, you know, the toot toot, the toot 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 toot, you guys already know what I'm talking about. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and just start locating some different Pokemon as I'm talking, yes. How do you get this? Huh. Let's see. Huh. Huh. Okay, so that's... Okay, so you probably need to go up here somewhere, but I need to find it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, Draven has been known to be a little bit of a dummy. So let's go right ahead and grab this item. And we found ourselves a nugget. So, like I was saying, guys, yes, there's not a lot more to feature here except for just capturing legendaries, beating Steven Stone, and the dreaded uh, Battle Frontier. And, uh, yeah, like I said in the last episode, we're going to be doing a Battle Frontier thing on a separate uh, series. That way, you know, we're, we are tested because, well, shoot. Yeah, Battle Frontier is going to be it's gonna be something that you need. You need to use everything, like literally everything. You the whole arsenal and stuff. Now, if you guys were with me as Draven XE 7-Eleven, I did do episodes on the Battle Frontier. Unfortunately, I did I did it over like you know I I did do I did complete it under nefarious or you know suspicious circumstances and all that stuff, and I do apologize for that. But you know that was me about 12 years ago, so yeah. And well. I don't know how this is going to happen, I don't know how we will be able to complete it, but eventually we will complete it. And well, of course, you guys already know I am trying to, I am trying to, <laughs> I am literally trying to get 
freaking Latios coming out, but yeah, it's not going to be coming out. So, anywho, in the next episode, guys, we are going to be doing, uh, let's see, what is the next episode hold? It's the third episode. You know what? In the next episode, we're going to try and locate Latios, so stay tuned. This is going to be fun. You guys are going to laugh. I know. I'll be, I'll be with you guys in another episode. See you guys.